my significant other's butt is too big to fit in my bucket seats. Oh, oh I'm sorry to hear that, Taylor. Um, I are guess you, she can't are you really. Sure, that's a bad problem. <laughs> 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 anyway, um, Oingo must be a suspension guy because he asked another very suspension question. Yeah, what's that? What style of piston, double digressive or linear? Okay, so um, it kind of depends on how we, um, how we'll, like what what's the application, right? So for road use, we do build digressive curves into our uh, our street product like Fast Road Pro, um, but we don't want to have too much digression. So there can be a point where too much digression is bad. Uh, if you have too much digression, then, uh, and sorry, take a step back. Dig when I'm talking about digression, it's when you see a shock plot, you can either see a straight line, which is a typical linear curve where the amount of force is increasing uh, linearly with the, uh, with the shock speed, not the wheel speed, but how, but the actual shock, how fast the shock is moving up and down, such as like hitting a big bump or hitting a berm, things like that. Or, or even if it's going slow, if you're doing transitions or, or, you know, quickly uh, doing a steering input. Um, and digression is basically the ability to build a lot of force, uh, at low speeds when the shock is not moving very much when you're, you're cornering or you're loading up the suspension and then it digresses or it blows off the force as the shim stack opens. And you can do that by manipulating, um, the shims with, a with, with a piston design and, and also the, um, the ports that are on the piston to, to get the shape that you want. Um, and so depending on, on what the use case is, sometimes we'll have a, a digression on the compression side as well if, if we want that, or sometimes it'll just be linear on the compression rebound. So it really depends on, on what the application is. Um, I, know from, I know for our street stuff, we, we've got some curves that uh, have been tried and tested and we're really enjoying the end results of those on in a variety of different cars that we've done. Um, and those are typically a, a, a digressive on the, on the rebound only. And um, for the race stuff, um, we have been experimenting with a double digressive or a single digressive. And we've got a few piston designs that uh, we've been working on and testing on. Um, but uh, yeah, so far, what we have out in the field has been working great. So we're just lo really looking for that little last last bit for the race stuff. So it's been, uh, yeah, it's been a lot of fun.